the platform. Gorang tells Imogiri about Mihiru's search for her child, but Imogiri explains Mihiru came alone 10 months ago. She was an actress with no family that volunteered to come just like Gorang. Imogiri sent people down here without knowing how bad it was, and she's been fighting cancer for three years. When she discovered she lost that fight, she volunteered to come because she thought she could make a difference, but she doesn't care anymore. On their last day on floor 33, Gorang tries to make Imogiri eat something because they may not have food tomorrow, but Imogiri is too depressed to leave the bed. The next morning, Gorang wakes up to discover he's on floor 202, meaning there are more levels than Imogiri knew about. Such revelation was too much for Imogiri to handle and used her bedsheets to end things for herself. At that moment, Trimagasi's hallucination appears again, wondering if Gorang will eat his new friend. This time he's joined by Imogiri and her dog, who insist he should eat her body. Gorang tries his best to ignore their constant rambling, and he tries to keep himself busy with other things, he tricks his stomach by eating pages of his book, and he takes a plate shard to start counting the days on the wall. Eventually the hunger becomes too much though, and Gorang finally begins feeding on Imogiri while Trimagasi guides him on where to cut. Sometime later, the next shuffle comes and Gorang is pleased to discover he's on floor 6. The person on the other bed is Miru, who comes after him with a knife, but this turns out to be just a dream. Gorang's new cellmate is actually Baharat, whose chosen item was a rope. Baharat is very excited because he thinks he can climb all the way to the top from here, and he asks the people on level 5 for help. The couple above teases him before accepting to grab the rope, but when Baharat starts climbing, the other prisoner lowers her pants and defecates on Baharat's face. Shocked and disgusted, Baharat lets go of the rope and falls, Gorang catches him just in time but the rope is lost in the hole. When the platform comes, they have to eat while listening to the prisoners on level 5 get frisky. As time passes, the hallucinations of Trimagasi and Imogiri show up again. Trimagasi says Gorang is doing great because he only has one more month to go, and Imogiri reminds him that change never happens spontaneously. This inspires Gorang to think of a plan, and he asks Baharat for help. They should jump on the platform with whatever weapon they can find, and make sure people ration the food so that everyone can eat. Gorang did the math when he was on floor 202, and judging by the time the platform takes to move, he thinks there are around 250 levels, which should be doable. Baharat accepts to work together and they break a bed to use its pieces of metal-like weapons. The two of them jump on the platform and go to level 7, where Gorang points out they shouldn't allow the prisoners to grab anything. These people ate yesterday and will eat tomorrow for sure, so they should only start handing out food after level 50, which are the people having trouble. Baharat hesitates because these prisoners are his friends that helped him climb up some weeks before, but as soon as the old man reacts furiously, Baharat sees Gorang's point and begins helping him keep everyone away. The pair keeps going down while threatening people to keep the food untouched. After a few more floors, Baharat is shocked to come across Brambang, an old wise man that Baharat respects. Brambang approves of what the boys are trying to do, but he points out that the administration doesn't have a conscience and won't care if they succeed, but perhaps the workers on level Sarah will, so they need a symbol. Baharat and Gorang choose the panna because it's a very luxurious dish and will cause quite an impression if it arrives untouched to the bottom. The mission continues as they keep going down, keeping the panna safe while keeping people away with threats. Once they reach level 50, Baharat and Gorang begin handing out rations of food, and people are extremely grateful. On level 97, they find a sick old man and a mentally disabled boy. Gorang tries to feed the old man some soup, but the boy tells them not to bother because he'll kill the man later anyway to feed on him. The next level only has a body on it, and Gorang guesses this is where Mihiru woke up. The platform doesn't stop here because there aren't any living people, which means Gorang's calculations were wrong and there are more than 250 floors. On the following floor, they find two men attacking Mihiru. One of them has a sword and the other is huge and burly, so when Gorang and Baharat jump in to help the girl, it is extremely hard to defend themselves. Baharat manages to get his guy first and then he helps Gorang kill the big man, but unfortunately it's too late for Mihiru, who is already dead. Gorang wants to mourn her, but Baharat drags him back on the platform before it leaves them behind. The two of them keep going down and handing out food to the prisoners they see, although many floors only have dead bodies on them. Eventually the platform stops at level 333, which seems to be the last one. At first they think it's empty, but there's actually someone hiding under the bed, it's Molly, the missing child. Baharat and Gorang approach the kid, and as soon as they leave the platform, it starts going down again. Gorang asks Baharat to throw the panna into the hole, but Baharat refuses. To their surprise, the room doesn't get hot or cold to punish them, and after lots of hesitation, Burda gives the panna to Molly. The three of them stay on that floor, and Gorang keeps being haunted by Trimagasi, Imogiri, and now Mihiru as well. Suddenly Baharat agrees with the ghosts, telling Gorang that the girl is the message, and when Gorang wakes up, he discovers Baharat died because of his bleeding injuries. The next time the platform comes, Gorang brings Molly with him and they're lowered into floor Sero, which is completely dark and empty. 
Trimagasi appears to tell Goreng to come off the platform because he isn't part of the message, and together they watch the platform go up with Molly, hoping that she will show the abusers above the reality of the situation. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.